Hi there, this is a response to one of the questions I received. Uh, if there's a sweet spot to getting back to the customer once you fire them, as you guys know, I do believe that we have the right to fire the prospect, okay? We can't sell everybody. In fact, usually, depending on the business you're in, it's somewhere around 65, 75% or even higher of people we can't do business with. They don't have the need for our product or service. There's no emotional motivation, no sense of urgency or greatness to take an action, okay? They're, um, I mean, we've all seen the man selling umbrellas during the downpour, okay? Business is good then, right? Because nobody wants to get wet. But it's hard to sell it in the, in the 4th of July when it's sunny and hot out and it's not raining. So we have to make a decision whether this is someone worthy of following up. Everybody I talk to, or speak with better grammar I um, I send a email to a video response I use a, a video email system named iJot I love it uh, I think it has a high impact I send a postal response a, a free newsletter a free CD set with a cover letter and a nice um, photo business card and a golden paper clip I do all these little things to make an impact if I can't sell somebody right away. I also, um, we can follow up depending on the business we're in, uh, we can follow up with a phone call or have one of our staff members follow up. But the bottom line of the gut sales system is to work with people who want to do business today. I close people today. I learned from my mentor who could close people right away that we can do the million dollar deals, the million dollar sales, or the small sales the same day if we can create that sense of emotional motivation what is emotional motivation it's fear it's a need it's a greed it's a desire why do people buy Porsches because they're great well-made German cars No, because they think that they look good to their peers okay that's the real secret in their heart of their hearts why they buy things so yes we do follow up but it depends like I'm in real estate and in real estate, if someone doesn't do a deal today, maybe they'll do something in 30 days. They Maybe they want to sell their home, but they're not that motivated yet, okay, because they're living in the home. Maybe they want to sell them in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. So is it good to follow up? Of course it is. Save your notes. Save your information so that when you call back Mr. and Mrs. Smith, you can talk about their house on 121 Broadway and their dog spot and they're selling the house because they want to move to Florida and all that good hard information. The longer you stay involved, the more information you save, the greater likelihood you'll make a sale. So we got to treat it like a business. we got a professional. Save that information, but work smart. Don't waste your natural resources on situations where you are not going to profit today. I don't believe, as you know, in missionary real estate. I believe we need to go to the bank every day if we're going to succeed. This is Claude Diamond. You have a great day. Bye-bye.